Hey y'all, I've actually filmed this video three, three times now. California dream so today, as you can tell by the title, I am talking about Clemson University. I have been getting a lot of questions from people who are either going to Clemson or can't decide between two schools. So I decided why not make a video. I just know when I was trying to figure out what college I was going to go to and when I picked my college, I just always wanted to go look up videos about it. I don't know. They made me really excited. So here I am making one. <laughs> this is going to be more of a casual video. So like... Before I get into the video, I just wanted to preface, I have only been at Clemson a year and I've gotten a lot of questions about how Clemson was like through COVID and my freshman year being at Clemson with COVID and how Rush was, all that, so I'm going to answer those questions in this video as well, so let's go. So, to start off about my freshman year, it was not normal, obviously. It was still so fun. I actually was able to meet a lot, a lot of people. Your rushing definitely helped a lot because I was able to meet a lot of girls in my sorority. I haven't even met half of my pledge class yet. Still able to do a good amount of things towards the second semester. Simpson was very strict about making sure that we always got tested every week. It definitely helped progress everything that Clemson was doing. We were able to have a spring break and like a lot of other state schools like SEC, ACC schools it just didn't feel like college completely. But I think anybody could agree with that. First thing I'm gonna talk about is Greek life just because I am big on Greek life. I'm a part of the sorority Zeta Tau Alpha here at Clemson. Greek life at Clemson is pretty big. For me last year was very stressful and it was very stressful. I don't know why. I feel like it would have been definitely more stressful in person. I thought it was so hard to try and get to know like all these sororities through a zoom call overall i really enjoyed the rush experience our greek life is pretty big at clemson considering clemson is a small town a lot of social activities are with and through greek life sororities and fraternities it is a great way to meet people i can make a video about recruitment in the future if you want to see that feel free to comment below Let's talk about housing. The dorm I lived in last year is Manning Hall and it was a high rise along with Lever and Burn. Manning is the only all girls high rise dorm. It is actually the only all girls dorm in Clemson. And I loved it. Like, I absolutely loved it. So did my roommate. I meet so many girls. A lot of the girls that live in Manning actually rush. That's how we were able to meet a lot of them. If it was in person rush, we'd be able to meet more people because we would all be walking to Little John Coliseum. If you don't know what Little John Coliseum is, it's the basketball coliseum. Anyway, we were able to meet so many girls, whether it's going like to the laundry room or go to the bathroom on our hall. Even though it's community bathroom, I honestly liked the bathrooms. I don't think they were that bad. I mean, obviously it is nice to have your own bathroom to go to, but you didn't have to clean it. And I love not having to clean it. <laughs> then you have the shoe boxes. The shoe boxes are on the other side of campus. They are definitely older. In my opinion, they seem older than like high rise buildings because the high rise buildings have been there for a very long time. I only know a few people that lived in the shoe boxes and they said they liked it. They did wish they lived somewhere else though but they were able to meet a lot of people they live right beside the stadium and i know when covid wasn't a problem people would tailgate right outside of the shoe boxes next storms are mccabe holmes grisette i haven't heard too much about grisette i know a few people maybe that have stayed in there but i don't know a lot about it i never went in there but i do know holmes and mccabe are literally almost the exact same they are sweet style dorms so you'll have two people living in one dorm Dorm and then two people on the one next to it and it is joined by a shared bathroom. A lot of my friends loved these rooms because these rooms were a little bit bigger. They're like longer rather than wider. They did have to keep up with their own bathroom. They had to buy a shower curtain, everything that is needed for the bathroom. Now that is why I really liked the community bathroom because we did not have to do that. I mean, it would have been nice to have our own bathroom. I definitely agree with that. On to Core and Deschamps. Des, Des, 
I never, I, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. I'm not gonna lie. I've been told so many different things. We're gonna go with that. Um, those dorms are mainly honors college dorms. I'm not in the honors college, so I can't tell you too much about that. One of my friends did move into Des Champs from her building because she was having a problem with her room. And she moved in there and it was really nice. This is also a like sweet kind of style. You do get your own bathroom. Two people can live in there they each have their own room now Douthit dorms are the newest dorms i'm pretty sure and they are super nice they are very nice i know i said that about the other ones but they are really nice i know a lot of people like Douthit dorms they do have a community bathroom i don't know what else to say except they're really nice and i like them and i know a lot of people want to live there whenever they move in i do think it is a little more expensive than the other dorms Let's talk about dining halls. Okay, there are three dining halls. Shaletter, McAllister, and Douthit. So Shaletter is located in the horseshoe. So the horseshoe is the high rises and the low rises. I didn't really talk about the low rises for dorm because I'm pretty sure the only one that people would be able to live in is Malden. Malden is a co-ed low rise dorm. There are two Smith and Barnett and those are for sororities. Those are sorority hall dorms because they are not in the Greek quad. Don't ask me, don't really know why. Clemson does not have sorority and fraternity houses, sadly. Anyways, Shaletter is actually my favorite dining hall. A lot of people don't agree with me, but I really like Shaletter. I think they've upped their game from first semester when I went. I feel like they always have a good selection and I'm not a picky eater, so I don't mind like, any food, like whatever's out, I'll be like, oh, I'll get it. The good thing about Clemson is that you're able to pick whatever dining hall you wanna go to. So Shaletter's the one located right beside the horseshoe. The horseshoe is where I lived so it was really easy to just walk go and like come back up and do my class on zoom because all of our classes were on zoom another dining hall is Douthit now Douthit is really good but they are very repetitive Douthit has the same thing for about a week and then it changes the next week food is always really good just it's very repetitive Alistair dining hall is the one located at core and by like the shoe boxes McCabe Holmes all of that it is probably most people's favorite dining hall it also has a lot of different food choices it has dessert it has sushi not every night it has sushi before you get your hopes up it's really big it's nice the starbucks right by it raising canes twisted taco all of that is right there talking about all of these small little restaurants there's something called paw points at clemson where when you get get your clemson id this is what you use for meal swipes like whenever you go into the dining hall you'll swipe your card and it counts as a meal swipe but then there are paw points which is kind of like money that's put on your card based on the meal plan you choose if you go to a restaurant on campus such as chick-fil-a starbucks there's two starbucks on campus by the way one in Douthat and one at core raising canes panda express 55 exchange that's an ice cream place made by the cows at clemson a new cafe in the business building. Twisted Taco? Did I say Twisted Taco? Fresh in. I'm probably missing some, but those are the ones I remember. Oh, and Subway. You could go to any of these restaurants and use your paw points to buy yourself a meal from there. If you don't have any paw points or you don't want to use them, of course you can just use regular cash. On to the gym. So there are two gyms at Clemson. There's Spike and there's Douthit. My favorite is Douthit. It is a lot smaller compared to Fike, but it is open. So nice. There's windows everywhere. There is not as many machines as Fike, but they do have a really nice cycle room. They also offer a bunch of classes too. At Fike, there are a lot more machines. There is a pool. There's a rock climbing wall. There's diving board. I don't know if you can use those anymore. A bunch more studios. They also have a really nice cycle room all this extra stuff the reason i don't like it as much which so many people could argue with me is because it's just i don't know i like open places and every time i go to fight I like i'm more of like a weightlifter rather than a cardio person and every time i go to fight and i go up to one of the like barbells or dumbbells like i'm trying to get they're never there
there. Never there. Somebody always has them. There's always so many people in there, like depending on the time you go. And it's awkward because you'll go up to the dumbbell or the barbell and you'll just sit there and be like, where, where to go? Is it like, who has it? When is it coming back? Yeah, that's just awkward and I don't want to deal with that. So I doubt it since not as many people go to doubt it. I mean, a lot of people still go to doubt it. Don't get me wrong. Fight's just like a lot bigger. Now Fike does have weight racks compared to Dalfit. Dalfit only has one weight rack and is a Smith machine. At Fike there is a whole strength hallway is what it's called and there are weight racks like lined all up on it. It just has a lot more things but it's really up to you and your preference. Fike is closer to core whereas Dalfit's gym is by Dalfit closer to the horseshoe. Downtown. Everybody loves downtown. Obviously, there are a lot of bars. There's a lot of restaurants. There are also really cute boutiques where you can go get a bunch of Clemson wear. One thing I really like about downtown is a kickboxing place that I work out at called Nine Round. I love it so much. It's a 30 minute workout class. I swear you burn 500 calories. Just, it's boxing. I love it. Also, downtown, there is Axe Throwing, a tanning bed that I actually worked at this past year. Now, here are some of the restaurants downtown. Loose Chain, Moe's, Chipotle, Jimmy John, Groucho's, Insomnia, Cocoa Bowls, which are acai bowls, Your Pie, which is pizza and like Italian food, Volve, Burger, Charleston Sports Pub, Kitties, It's Your Wiener. Yes, that is actually a restaurant. A lot of people don't like to believe that, but it is. It's a bar, it's a restaurant. That's just some of the things. And then if you go further past downtown to the main road, you'll come across McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, Bojangles, Zaxby's, Taco Bell, Wendy's, this new like tropical place, Starbucks, Dunkin', Mellow Mushroom, Pixie and Bill's, which is a really nice restaurant that I really like a lot. Witch Witch, like a bunch of different other restaurants. There's also a Publix, Callister's Deli, TCBY, Frozen Yogurt, Red Bull, Japanese food. There's a bunch of other Japanese food places. Orange Theory, The Gym, Publix, Walmart, all of that good stuff. To talk about academics at Clemson, it's challenging. It is, it is very challenging. As a bio major that just changed to psychology major, a minor in biology, depending on your major, most majors, you will have to put in a lot of time for your major. And I'm mainly talking to those of you in the science department and engineering, such as like biology, chemistry, biochem, nursing, all of that. I did spend a lot of time studying. I took my academics very seriously and I love biology. I did well in it. The reason I changed was because of all of the chemistry I was having to take as a biology major. I just did not like it. Don't get me wrong, I didn't do bad in the classes. I just couldn't deal with that much chemistry because it was pretty challenging. And I can tell you, your professors matter a lot with how you do in your classes. So I strongly suggest going on rate my professor before you sign up and register for classes because that will make or break you pretty much your professors they matter <laughs> they matter a lot since Clemson is such a small town, there honestly is not a whole lot to do. And there is a good amount to do, but at the same time, there's, there's kind of not. There is the lake. If you know somebody that lives on the lake or has a boat and will take it out, you'll love it. There is a place called Y Beach right outside of Clemson's campus. On the lake, there's just a little beach area, a beach volleyball area. People go out there to tan. People go out there for picnics and study. They watch the sunset. They watch the sunrise. I went and watched the sunset one time and it was so pretty. Just a little note, I highly suggest going there when it's warm out and go kayaking, paddle boarding, a great study spot and they have soccer fields and there's a little rec center there as well. Also, there's axe throwing downtown. I haven't been to the axe throwing place downtown, but I have been to the one here in Columbia where I'm from, and I think it is so fun. If you're really looking for something to do, good places to shop and eat and all of that. There's a good amount of places in Clemson, but there's a lot of places in Greenville. Greenville is about 45 minutes from Clemson. You don't have a car at Clemson. I know a lot of people wish they did have a car at Clemson. If you really want to go do something, you're, you're probably going to need a car. <laughs> the social 
special part of Clemson is definitely Greek life and joining clubs, doing intramurals. There's so many people that did intramurals and they loved it. They met so many people. Usually the social aspect of Clemson is brought in by the frats and the sororities. Now, a lot of people have asked about like the frat function. People who aren't in sororities that are girls are welcome at any of the functions usually if you're a guy that is a different case usually if you know somebody that's in the fraternity or somebody that could possibly get you in is the only way you will be let in unless you are in the frat that is a downside to that because that is one of the main social outings that clemson has I got a comment about how often this goes on it's probably like at least once a week Things were a little different with COVID, so you never know. That is all I have left for this video. If you have any other questions or if you want me to make another video about something specific, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more future content, especially from me in Clemson University. Go Tigers, baby!